We met at Hooters. I was a Hooter girl. He came in for all you can eat wings and it was probably the best thing ever. <laughs> he walked in and the first thing that I saw, he was holding a motorcycle helmet. She didn't say, welcome to Hooter. She didn't say, can I help you guys? She just had this lit up look on her face and she said, oh my God, what do you guys ride? We love motorcycles. And then we just always stayed friends. When I needed a friend, he was just there. My first impression of John David, he was very polite, very family oriented, took care of his friends and Honestly, what of a kind. And I've never met a guy like this before. I've never been treated this way before. He treats me with so much respect and we never put each other down. We always make sure that we put each other, we put each other first, but we always make sure that motivate each other and to keep each other going. Anytime we're having a disagreement, we make sure to give each other space and talk about it. But we never go to bed angry. We're very, very open with each other. We don't keep anything from each other. Honesty, communication, and trust, which is not lacking <laughs> in our relationship at all. I'm looking forward to having, having kids, having a family, and stuff like that. I definitely hope that time comes. Um, I know we're planning on waiting a little while. I know when the time is right, it'll happen, but definitely looking forward to spending some solo time first and doing some, some traveling and having some adventures and then, then the adventure of children. The anticipation, the excitement, just Brie in her dress, that moment. She's breathtaking. She looks so, so gorgeous. and. Words can't describe. <laughs> I was just completely just choked up. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, I did cry. <laughs> I teared up. One thing that he told me a couple of days ago, I asked him, I was like, are you excited about this? He said, yes, because I'm going to see you in a way that I've never seen you before. And he brought a tear to my eyes because I think mainly we're just excited to be with each other and to literally grow old together like that's that's incredible John David has basically kept me going we've had a lot of times we thought that we couldn't make it not necessarily together but just in life if someone passes away that's close to us or I've basically been was struggling with school and he would just give me a hug and just say we're gonna get there he motivates me and he keeps me on my feet all the time and the smile that I have on my face he gives that to me every single day John David he is my son. The unique thing about these two kids is that they're both serious and crazy and fun and loving and they just have so much they complement each other so well that they just really, together, they really just make the perfect match. That one true love is all that you need and, and I think he's found that in Brie. The first impression I had of Brie when I first met her was that thinking, wow, she's kind of a little bit young and younger than he is. I, I loved her giddy laugh. She was just always sweet. I had a very good first impression of her. I never had any issues with her, and I, I love her to pieces. I couldn't be happier. Some of the favorite memories that I have of this couple is, well, I love when John David was talking to us about Brie when he first met her or talking to me because um, his daddy's already up in heaven but um, I know that he's looking down on him and is very proud of his choice 
but he wanted me to know that he'd found the girl of his dreams. That he was so in love and that he wanted to do it right. And he was going to drive all the way to Boti to ask to speak with her father to ask for her hand in marriage. And that just meant so much to me because that is, that is the way that it should be done. He was so nervous and he was so giggly. And he reminded me so much of his dad because that's something his father did. And he's like him in so many ways. And he, um, he was so excited and nervous. And he says, Mom, I'm just, I'm, I, I know what I'm going to do and I know what I want to say. He planned it out. He put all his heart and soul into it. I just know that, that she really is the one. She really is the one. For Brianna and John David, my special message is take care of the ones you love. That mean the most to you. When things get going tough and to uh, get through tough times, step back, take a deep breath, get out of the house, just do whatever you got to do and overlook the whole situation, the whole picture in general, before you make a decision. And talk it over between the both of y'all. Make sure y'all's heads are in one stable answer. That's how me and her mama did it. The bride is my daughter. Every time I see Brianne and John David together, and John David, you could just tell he was so in love with her. I love the way John David always treated Brianne like a queen when we're around. And you can just totally tell that they're both so in love with each other. Something unique about them, they're just always happy, always hugging to each other. Everywhere they go, they're just laughing and just enjoying life. I see in Bree things that make her very different from anyone else that he's ever been with in several ways. I can see that she's very attentive to him. I can see her caring for him. I can see her genuine love for him. I see that little glow and twinkle in her little eyes when she sees him. And she's got that little, that little giggle or laugh when she sees him where he makes a little face to her. She gives him his space. They really, like I said, compliment each other in that because she understands, you know, he goes out with his friends, you do the same, and they just have that, that compatibility that, that there should be in a marriage. So I just, I just love that in her. She's very, um, she's very family oriented and I love that about her because I'm all about family. It's just a very special quality. Her family is wonderful and I love them all. Our first date. <laughs> well, he took me a lot of places, but the one place that I will never forget, um, we went in the evening, it was at night, and we went on the motorcycle and went towards the Harbor Bridge, and we walked on it, I've never walked on it before, and we climbed over the rails and climbed down to an area where you're not supposed to. <laughs> and we sat there and talked for hours, and we got to know each other on a different level and um, it was just beautiful, like seeing the boats and everything lit up, like the whole Corpus Christi scene from that area. It was just, that was one of the most amazing times. And uh, one more time, he took me skydiving. Uh, he's the first person that's ever gotten me close to heaven. One of my fondest memories of her is, is taking her, surprising her uh, for her birthday and taking her skydiving. and. She had no idea what we were doing, you know, her, her birthday was coming up and I had already planned the whole thing and set up the appointment and I still had my motorcycle at the time and her and I rode out to Port Aransas 
and I turned off and we went by this little area where there was like yachts to the left of us and airplane hangars to the right of us and she was we got so excited just seeing the plane she's like oh hey look you know there's airplanes look at that look at that and then I turn in she's like what are we doing I was like we're going skydiving and she did not miss a beat like I was I mean we both talked about skydiving before but you know uh, talking about it and doing it you know it's two different things uh, but you know I was a little bit kind of nervous that maybe she would be a little bit afraid I don't think there was ever a moment that <laughs> fear entered her uh, she was just super excited super stoked jumping up and down the whole time and, and we had a blast the ways that we are most alike I would say music we love music. Um, it helps us get into good moods. It helps us kind of, you know, if we're having, feeling sad, we can be sad together listening to a sad song. Uh, we love motorcycles. We love to ride. And I think that's one thing is we just, we have so much of that in common. We love sports. Um, mainly we like being around each other. Like we don't get annoyed of each other. <laughs> advice that I would give to us 40 years from now is to love very hard and to never give up on each other. I know that marriage is not just a stroll, you know, a walk in the park. It's, it's going to be difficult, but honestly, I couldn't have picked the right person to do it with. And um, I know my dad made a good choice by telling him yes. You are the most amazing person that I've ever met. I can't imagine my life without you. I never thought that I would find somebody like you. I love you. John David, I want you to know that I will always be here for you and I will never give up on anything that we have going I want you to know that I will always be by your side. I promise to look at you the same way that I first looked at you when we first met. I promise to always be there for you and love you. <laughs>